Hello, welcome on this new video. Today I'm gonna show you how I made three of my leather sheath for three of my axes. The first one is a big one, approximately the size of my hand. Uh, I crafted uh, the sheath with a two millimeter wide thick material. The second one is a mini axe I made on another video. You can find it on my channel. And for this one and the third one, I only used uh, one millimeters thick materials because they are relatively thinner and smaller than the, the first one. I started drawing and contouring my axis head shape on my leather part and then cut it into the right shape. The next step was to create the front cover. If you refer to the schematic made on paint, you can see where the front cover goes. Same as usual, I had to draw it and then cut it. And in the final result, we got this. Wow! I elapsed you all this, but I did this for the three other parts. For the two mini axes, I used the blanc leather because I plan on dyeing them later. The next step was to create a small strap to close my leather sheath. Before stitching it, I had to glue it. For the glue to be maintained on this flat surface, I had to rip a bit of the leather surface and finally press it with a clamp. Before moving on to the next step, I had to dye my two other leather sheaths. I used the 100% natural method to give a great tint on my leather. If you want further details on it, I already made a video with all the details and the chemical components I used. Just check out the description to find it. Let's get back to our business. I used a pursing tool to drill my holes and then be able to stitch it later. I will use waxed leather sewing thread. I use two needles, one from each side, and all you have to do is constantly cross the points. Sewing leather is really simple. And this is the final result I got. And that for the three others. And in the same way I created two clips for the leather strap to close. Then was time for the gluing of the front cover. Don't forget to spread the glue on the surface. Let's clamp it! And now it's time for us to use what's called a stitching groover. What an awesome name! This is usually done to create a sort of sewing path. And now it's time to drill the holes. No joke, to define the spacing I use a fork. Really useful. And I pierced the hole one by one. And sometime with a hammer. And now the next step is the stitching. Sometimes it's hard. To put in place my sewing I use a lighter. And this is my technique to secure the end of the thread. And this is done. I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe and leave a like. See you next time!